An outpouring of emotion as the city of Orlando leaders vote to buy the property of the Pulse nightclub massacre. And I will never ever be able to get out of my head the screams of those mothers as they found out their children died when I was on the street with them. The big question, what's next for the memorial? One commissioner telling us they're starting from scratch. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. I'm Ginger Gadsden. The city of Orlando will pay $2 million for the site of the 2016 mass shooting that left 49 people dead. A temporary memorial has stood outside the Soto building for years now as different groups vied for control of the property. New Sixers Troy Campbell is live there tonight. And Troy, it became very clear t during today's vote that the unfinished memorial remains just an open wound for the whole community. City officials say that the owners of Pulse, they have never made good on their word that they would construct a memorial here at the Pulse site. So much so that Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer says the city had no choice but to intervene. I disagree with a lot of the things that they did and how they went about doing it. We're now here seven years later and I don't think this is a, do I want to do this? Not really. Do I think we have to do this? Absolutely. For the first time since the Pulse Massacre on June 12, 2016, the property is expected to get a new owner. On favor, indicate so by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. On Monday, Orlando City Commissioners voted unanimously to purchase the property for $2 million. An official closing on the property is expected before the end of the month. I want you to feel trust. And I want you to feel the way that I felt as a member of the LGBTQ community when I saw people come together to help us in a way that I'd never seen before. Commissioner Patty Sheehan emotional during the meeting. The families, the people who need counseling, the people who have medical bills that are still outstanding, that needs to be the focus. Sheehan says it's been disappointing to see the project be continuously delayed. We didn't have any control over it. I mean, I left, the, I left in year two because it was a mess. I, mean, I saw what was coming down the pike, okay? I saw what was happening and I didn't like it. And I got told I wasn't welcome anymore, so I just walked away and I needed to, frankly, because for my, for my own sanity. The $2 million purchase price was also a point of contention during the commission meeting, with some arguing the property's actual value is far less. Deborah Bowie, the executive director of the One Pulse Foundation, released a statement to News 6 saying, quote, now that the city of Orlando has resolved the issues surrounding the memorial property, it's important that we keep the focus on realizing the National Pulse Memorial. We are ready to provide whatever assistance the city may need in making that a reality. Sheehan says no official plans have been made. We're starting from zero. I understand that the other group had 70, seven and a half years to mess it up. We need some time to fix it. Uh, and we do hear from the city that they do plan to recoup some of their costs through grants and also donations. Important to note, back in 2021, the U.S. Congress voted and passed uh, approving this site as a national memorial. Uh, live outside Pulse tonight, Troy Campbell getting results news six. Yeah, seven years is a long time for that. Troy Campbell.